I think fashion magazines are important because they reflect the period. The more people see fashion, the more they get also in touch with their time. They don't have to buy the dresses, that's not a problem. It's to get the mood of the moment. When I look at Harper's Bazaar, I don't look just at the magazine. I see the, the, the humanity of fashion in, in Bazaar. That's what I see. I see the personal touch. Harper's Bazaar to me is unexpected. Harper's Bazaar is personable. When you go going through the magazine, you learn a lot. You learn a lot about how to wear the clothes, how to like, you know, how to follow the trend without being a victim of fashion, which is something very important. The people are, that are interested in fashion aren't just interested in fashion. I think that when you read Bazaar, you get a sense of what's going on around you in the world, and that's kind of invaluable. It's really modern, you know, it's a modern magazine. You're going to see everything from, you know, me interviewing Elizabeth Taylor to, you know, uh, a redo of, you know, reality television stars, to a take on politics um, merged with fashion. They bridge the gap between high fashion and the reader. And I think if you, t if you talk to customers and clients, you understand how important that is to make them understand and to humanize fashion. I think that the impact that Apple Bazaar had in in, in fashion is reflects uh, perfectly Glenda's personality. It's such a tight team. It's such a, people do, would do anything for Glenda. And Glenda would do anything for them. So I feel like part of the family. She kind of says it as it is, which is a great quality you know, of a person, but particularly in fashion, everyone's always so concerned about what everyone thinks, and Glenda really has an amazing point of view. I think very few people know that Glenda herself studied fashion. And because of that, she comes from a place of knowledge and also empathy. And she's able to really encourage designers in a meaningful way. She's a very good editor. We are used to each other and we understand each other very well. We don't even have to talk that much because the message goes through immediately. I, I love the creativity. I love the fact that uh, she's thinking out of the box, that she's always trying to bring a uh, solution. And she, she's a thinker. She had 10 ideas of shoot. <laughs> We're supposed to do one shoot, she has 10 different ideas, all good, all crazy. You know, I have nothing against crazy ideas. Crazy ideas are better than two normal ideas, huh? One time she put me actually in a lake on a chair with an umbrella and I got like all wet. <laughs> and I thought, up to here again, <laughs> that's a bit too much. Glenda called me and she said, you know, she said, there's a part of you that to me, you'd be a great writer. She said, you're fast, you're quick. She said, would you write a piece for us for the magazine? She said, how about interviewing Elizabeth Taylor? And you can ask her anything. And then I got to ask her, you know, every fashion and style question you could ask Elizabeth Taylor. It was an amazing moment. When she asked me, oh, you're gonna lay with Linda and you're gonna have a surprise, you're gonna see Linda Evangelista, you're gonna have a surprise. It was a surprise, I was nervous, you know. So I got dressed, my hair, my makeup. Linda arrived with the blonde wig, the fringe, the long, long blonde hair. I was, oh my God, this was a surprise. Glenda actually has the best picture I've ever taken. I was painted gold. I mean, there I was, paint on paint on paint on paint, and God only knows I wish I could look like that again. This is really, I think, uh, a great idea to do The Simpsons in the couture. I think it's very, very funny. I love it. And they sent me an original sketch of it, so I have it framed in my house. From a selfish point of view, I have to say, like, uh, the Kate Hudson cover with Pucci was my absolute highlight. It was the first cover that I had with Pucci, and I certainly didn't expect it to be Harper's Bazaar, and it was Christmas for me that week. The famous cover did with Natalie Portman and uh, Givenchy. Seeing Natalie in the dress, which is uh, like you know part of the archive in the house where I work, is pretty like you know amazing because it's one of the iconic dress in history. I loved being in the bizarre Rachel Zoe shoot. Rachel obviously has her saying, "I die every time she likes something wonderful." Playing someone who wants to poison her was a very special role for me. And the very fact I got to wear beautiful jewelry and poison her were two of the best moments I can say in my fashion career. Seeing my collection in Harper's was, was really was great. And it was really, um, you know, something that I was really flattered. You know, it is a validation and, you know, that it's worthy of being, being included along with all the other great designers that Harper's uh, showcases.
One thing about Bazaar, about Glenda really, because she is Bazaar, is that she always uh, challenges you to do something different from everybody else. Women look at Bazaar and they feel they can be part of the fashion world. And that's a very unique position. I think the Harper's woman has a glimpse in her eye and that's very much the, the kind of woman I try to dress as well. Somebody that, somebody that celebrates fashion, that has style, but also likes life, enjoys life. There's always a sense of humor um, and style combined, and I think that's very distinctly Harper's Bazaar. It has such a broad language, and I think that you really feel that genuine kind of love of life at Bazaar, and I think that Glenda brings so much of that to the magazine. I can't wait to see what's next.